Labour government were laughing and laughing at the New Zealand public at how compliant we were. Now if someone can track that back, and that was a bit of a minor scandal in the paper at the time, I can't remember which month, it would be around about June, July, and they were laughing how we just did everything. And as I've said to people, if we were told to walk on our hands down the main, you know, do a handstand down the main street, the well, whole population would do it. Jacinda just last week said that you've got permission to use the toilet, you know, mm. uh, with a big smirk <laughs> on her face, you know. Um, yeah. That kind of thing, you know, what, what, what really disturbed me was a couple of days ago when she done the job on uh, Tinder. They had Tinder under tricolor passport, uh, tricolor traffic light system, whatever they call it. Uh, then people are allowed to uh, date and do Tinder saying up to 25. And she made a joke about that. She was laughing and cracking. And I'm sorry, Jacinda. I'm not in the mood for job. This country has been taking over by communism. I wish I could laugh to your job, but this is our family going down at the moment. This is all solo income been taken away from us because of freedom of choice has been respected. I'm sorry to see that, but I don't want to laugh right now. I'm not up for a job. I'm glad you are. I'm glad Christmas is going to be good for you. Christmas Eve good. day, 24th December, lunchtime, we could go on to a level four. Jeb Cinder. God bless her, and I, I actually genuinely mean that. I forgive her and I bless her. I don't hate her, I pray for her. So, this is how we live. This is how we live. The last time we went in on Tuesday this year, uh, it was around about 6 pm or 4 pm on a Tuesday. And by midnight, we were in a level four whole country, and as far Over as I know, case. Mm. one case mm. from Australia. And countries around the world, media were mocking uh, the Labour government and Jab Sinder's choice for the previous level four. I mean, it was a great joke, and it was a great joke, but it wasn't funny. I think It's destruction on people's lives. I think that's part of the, the freedom of choice as well. I think if you want to stay at home and isolate yourself, because um, you're worried about this, I, I think that you should obviously have the choice of that, but I don't think that's sure to restrict whether other people can go out and, and live their lives. I'd like to say the real virus is fear. Fear. And fear mongering by our media. And are the media our media anymore? Is it a free is it a free media? If it wasn't for the media would we know there's even a virus around? We're never allowed to forget it. There's ads everywhere, letterbox, phone calls, texts. It's always across the TV. Yeah, it has been a couple of years of massive propaganda in this country. Uh, propaganda and um, many people fail for it, unfortunately. Uh, we, we don't know the consequences of that just yet, but I believe next year we're going to start seeing the consequences of this propaganda. And it's going to affect many, many families, many individuals of New Zealand. Um, it's, it's a reason that the commercial agreement haven't been um, officially uh, public. Some, some government on the, on the world is succeed to get bit and pieces of a commercial agreement and most of the page has been blacked out. Why blacking out a commercial agreement for a product that we coercing into a world population? Why do we got to hide? Who's, who's finding um, the answer to all those questions? Is there any independent journalist out there? Maybe yourself? <laughs> We're going out there and try to find the answer, the real answer, or the truth. Um, something important happening in Nuremberg a couple of weeks ago. I'm not sure the main media presented it here. Yeah? Um, a lawyer, German number one lawyer, uh, Rainer Filmich, uh, associate for the last year, year and a half, with uh, thousands of lawyers, tens of thousands of scientists, and uh, they've been asking those questions, those hardball questions. And they've been finding the answer and listening to a lot of people. They've been gathering a lot of information. The Polish government has uh, been inviting uh, Rainer Filmich and Vivian Fischer, which was his, his uh, partner, and they are officially open in Nuremberg 2.0. Nuremberg 2.0? Why Nuremberg? Because at the end of the Second World War, the horrible experience we've been committed during those last four years. All the doctors, uh, all the media, anybody who had to do with this terrible, terrible experience committed on human beings had to answer to their doing in front of court of law. Uh, Nuremberg was the place.
the judgment is coming. The judgment is coming. They are powerful. They got a lot of money. They got all the power. But what they don't have is the people. And the people are waking up now. The people want the truth. Freedom. The people want freedom. Truth. Yep. And freedom. Truth.